What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beat Den, and I am bringing to you a new series. This is going to be called... I don't know yet. Something. I'll come up with the title later. Work in progress title. Anyways, the main focus of this series is to t take first impression looks at games that I've either played before and many people haven't heard of, just to share a game I think is cool or a brand new game I've gotten my hands on. Today we're having a look at The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which just came out yesterday, and I finally got my hands on it. So I'm going to run through, say, maybe the first 15, 20 minutes of it, just to get a, a feel of it through the tutorial and all that. Uh, first thing I want to start off with that kind of bothered me already with it is, I have the PC version of the game, which is obvious, I try to get everything I can for the PC, because it's easy to record that way for right now. Um, but I'm irritated by the fact that you can't adjust the settings in the game, like the, uh, the graphical settings. A pop-up box actually pops up before starting the game to adjust all that, which doesn't really help because then it's like, the game's not running, I can't see how well it's performing then. So every time I want to adjust it, I have to leave the game and come back to that and guesswork and that just kind of it just kind of bothers me I it may not have that problem for like other people but for me it just irritates me anyways that being said let's get into this game uh, yes cuz I'm not too terribly far in the two or five minutes I played this game what pull ability to disarm enemies I like how spider suit has souls that's pretty funny I do have this pretty much on the lowest setting, so it'll run on my computer. We're about to see how well it runs while recording. Nightclub. The generic nightclub. I will assume that's Peter Parker. Hey, somebody stop that guy! He just robbed me! Hey, kid! A little help? Not my problem. His voice sounds weird. I'll look up his voice actor later. It kind of sounds very familiar. I don't know. Great. Somebody stop that dude! Doesn't take much to get from where you are to where I am. Oh, wow, this is, uh... Give me just a second, I'm gonna try lowering... I'm gonna try lowering OBS, see if that fixes it. Give me just a second. There we go, that kind of fixed it. Moves a little better. Look at that dent! This is a brand new car! You stopped at a yellow light! Who stops at a yellow light? Okay, what is the point of walking this? Ant Man, Uncle Ben will be worried. I should catch the subway. Wait. What? It sounded like a gunshot. Okay. Uncle Ben! Wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, Uncle Ben! <laughs> Hang on a second. Call an ambulance! Why are we discussing this? Help! Uncle Ben! Uncle Ben! Hang on! Serious, real talk. This is the second Amazing Spider Man game. Why are we just now covering his origin story? Uncle it's like going, my hey, here's Batman. I couldn't count on anything. <laughs> hey, here's Batman. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just skip this because, like I said, it's just a first impressions kind of thing of the gameplay. So, kind of skipping over that. But seriously, why are we talking about his origin in the second game? Shouldn't that have been something that was covered in, you know, the first game that covered the first movie? That talked about how he got his powers? I mean, I'm just saying that would make the most logical sense to me. Why are we waiting until the second one to cover this? Okay. Stupid things aside, let's see how the gameplay actually works. The man who killed Uncle Ben is out there somewhere. I will find him. And I will kill him. God, it took you two years to do this? I'll never stop looking for Uncle Ben's killer. Never. Okay. Wait. 
Web swing. We're okay. Ah, that's weird. So I use both the triggers to web swing with each... Oh, God, this is... Ah! Okay. This is kind of funky. Can I use them both at the same time? I didn't think so. the description of the guy who shot Uncle Ben. I better check it out. Okay, I'll be sure to go there. But seriously, this web swinging thing is real weird. Why couldn't I just get a button that web swings like for me? I mean, it's all cool to be, it's a cool concept, but it feels kind of clunky just because I feel like I'm swinging in the direction and I just want to go straight. Hey, Larry, these cars are heavy. How about a hand? Anyways. <gasps> the ringleader looks like the guy who killed Uncle Ben. But I'm not sure. I need to get some pictures of him. Let's get a good look at this guy's ugly face. Okay, I can use the... This... Excellent. Photo. Machine, I forget what it's called. That's not who I'm after. I've got a bad feeling. Well. Um... <laughs> Let's see, uh, who was this thing? Oh, right. Okay, cool, quick time event. Trust Not real really quick time. Is that Black Cat? Spider-Man! Hell with it, kill him! Okay, why to dodge? And I get a little timed thing. Uh, okay. What planet is that called fighting? This kind of feels kind of kind of like the uh, Arkham games fighting style. And you even have a combo system and everything. I don't know, maybe that's what it's based around. I don't really know. Fuck. I lost the combo. Okay, that's pretty simple, pretty easy to learn. <laughs> X and Y. You're gonna pay for what you've done, Spider Man. I doubt it. Hold that pose. All right, tap B for web shots. Did you maybe pretend you don't? You're doing signature moves. Is that like a finisher or something? When they're stunned. Sometimes okay, that's pretty cool. I even impress myself. Web rush. Okay, this is supposed to be some way to get me through the city. Okay. How am I this? Okay. Whatever. I'm not gonna question how this works, even though it didn't basically head to that construction site tell me what to do. It just said Hey, you know, click this to do this. Do I just like look at? Okay, so I basically just look at any object in my view, and I can. Okay, and I can whip to it as a quick way to get around certain areas instead of web swinging around it. Okay, it's kind of cool, I guess. Nap, not. Oh look, detective mode. This is Batman. These are ours now. Got the spider. I tell you, you have other options in life. I'm not really sure you do. <laughs> All right, isn't so bad. Combat's at least fun. Even if I think the uh, the web swinging uh, through the town is kind of weird, I do like its open environment. That's pretty nice. And I guess this is supposed to sound like Spider-Man's uh, actor. 
I don't actually know. I still have yet to actually watch uh, The Amazing Spider-Man. But so far, this is, this is doing pretty good. I mean, I still, again, don't know why we're talking about his backstory. Since that should already be acknowledged. It's kind of like saying, hey, here's this original character. You are never going to learn anything about him in this game. Here's the second one where you learn everything. God, that would be annoying. Two down. Let's go for the hat trick. Service here is terrible. I demand to speak to your men. Of course, Spidey's quips are still here. That's nice. Spider-Man's still as wisecracking as ever. God, I'm pretty sure that should have killed me to gang members. I ruin all their fun. <clears throat> oh, you must be Schultz. Your goon said you just buy yourself a ticket to hell. Oh no, I'm so scared. <laughs> Not you're gonna pay for that bug. I'll remember this. Take off the fight. <laughs> That outfit looks very familiar. So does his name. I'm begging you, man. Look, don't kill me like the others. We can make a deal. Others? Yeah, I've got money. Guns. Just tell me what you need, huh? I hear you do business with this guy. Voice acting's, I guess, sure. okay. I mean, know? not knowing huh? the, uh... I don't even know his name. The replacement for Toby McGuire. Oh, this is cool. Uh, what does the tattoo signify? The tattoo. What does it mean? Uh, it's a gang thing. There aren't any gangs using that symbol. I mean, we only a few people have it. It means he's a specialist. A guy who can get you anything you want for the right price. And he'll kill anyone who gets in his way, huh? Yeah. I already knew that. That's pretty cool. I like the dialogue system. You want the guy in the picture, huh? Look for a gun dealer in Alphabet City. Okay, he goes by Carradine. Uh, I think I got his latest number here in my phone. Wait, uh, don't! Stupid! I was so desperate for answers, I let him play me like an amateur! Where'd go, Spider-Man? You suck. Also, shouldn't... I didn't see the first movie, like I said again. Shouldn't, like, Spider-Man have resolved this thing with his Uncle Ben's killer already? That's kind of what led him to the, you know, with great power comes great responsibility kind of thing. Why is he still, like, looking for him and like Captain Stacy used to say, use the little fish to catch the big ones. Captain Stacy, that's, that's, yeah. So level of Spider-Man's suit by beating the thugs and completing missions, Spidey gains XP for the suit he is currently wearing, which will eventually lead to an... Okay, so he can wear different suits, which increase different powers. Okay. Uh. Great. Spider sense the range, effectiveness of web shots, that's pretty cool. Um... Sight. Okay. I guess that's kind of cool. I mean, I can, like... Uh. Okay. Because I do have, like, a uh, pre-order from the... for the game. Okay. How hard can this be? It's a cell tower. It's gonna be Which was a, an outfit I was trying to get to it. But apparently I'm not allowed to have that yet. I also hate the Spider-Man games that go, oh yeah, we want realism. He can't web swing to nothing. <laughs> Run up walls. Even okay, in New that's... York, sometimes there's nothing to swing from. <laughs> I'm going bullcrap on that. Whoa. 
Okay. What is this? Oh, God. Impressive security measures. I can't hack the cell tower until I shut them down. I'm still not sure how that weird tingling sometimes works. But hopefully it'll show up to help me find them. guessing going after these things? I'm still unsure why, but I won't question it. And even on the lowest texture setting, he does look good. His outfit looks very nice. So I guess I can give it to that. The graphics department is pretty good, even on the lowest settings. Which may be a problem for recording. I don't know how well it's going to turn out. Okay, Alphabet City, talk to me. Open Manhattan map. Okay, so it's like a synchronized point in Assassin's Creed. Okay. Alrighty. Accomplishing hero ID to improve Spider-Man's reputation, provide bonuses to the camp. So tired of her, the Daily Bugles, J. Joe Jameson will hesitate to destroy Spider-Man's public image. Lovely. What do you want with guns? I thought you went to arson. Yeah, but these days everyone's strapped. You can't set a peaceful fire no more without some punk from another crew taking a shot at you. All right, I got you covered. Swing by the alley behind Jazzy Johnny's nightclub. And hey, cash only. <sighs> that could be Carradine. Time for old Spidey to go clubbing. <laughs> Alright. I still think the web swinging controls are a little wonky. I don't know, maybe they'll fix that. For now, it's... I kind of feel like abusing the uh, web rush more than anything is better for me. Oh, this is cool. I can hold it! Okay, that just made this a whole lot better. Oh yeah, definitely so much cooler. Even pauses That's time. Carry, but whoever he is, I can't let him put more guns on the street. The spider! Let's not fight. Ah, never mind, let's fight. I still don't know how to feel about this voice for Spider-Man. Not sure if it's the same one they used for Spider- The Amazing Spider-Man 1. But, yeah, it's okay, I guess. So far, pretty solid. Your call, Spider-Man! Chase us, or let those people burn! Yeah, like I have a choice. Rescue the civilians. Alright. This is kinda neat. Yeah, you know, water balloons would be a much better weapon. Would I lie to you? Um, let's see, how do we get up there? Ah, here we go, stairs that aren't on fire. Hey, hell, my glasses are all clogged up. Ah, <laughs> oh, Stan Lee, you're hysterical. Ah, uh, hello. That is Stanley, that's awesome. Oh boy, much obliged, Spidey. Anytime, Stan. Hey, how'd you like me to call the Daily Bugle? <laughs> and tell them that Jameson is full of it. Huh. I'm not gonna stop you. So long. 
That's pretty neat. I should head over to the comic stand and check in on Stan. Wait. Let's see. Messages. Good job seeing the people from the far. All right. Still can't upgrade anything, so. All right, let's go find out what this comic find stand does. Before we, uh. Some days I want to tell you and I give really my first impression of what I think. His face. To the comic stand. Sure. Well, this has giant product placement placed on it. Peter? Hey, Stan. Oh, welcome back, true believer. Gosh, I haven't seen you in the store since. I can't say it enough. I am so sorry about your Uncle Ben. Oh, he was a good man. He was the best. All right, so what can I accomplish here? Unlock various figures in your adventures and learn, learn cool facts by taking a look at them, huh? By collecting comic pages in the city, you unlock cool comic books to read. All right. We get awesome concept art from the game's production. Okay, so this is my bonus. It's your fighting skills with the coin out machine. I'll pass, thanks. I suck at those. Okay. Now that's a keeper. So this is basically the bonus section of the game. So, my old enemy, we meet again. I'm curious. I'll keep my hand-eye coordination sharp. Oh. Okay, it's basically just a combat challenge thing. Didn't I already fight you? Or do you have no traditional moves okay. whatsoever? I was kind of hoping it would be like a like a special like reference to some old Spider-Man game or something. Oh well, I can dream. Uh, yes. Head back to the comic stand. I like the fact that he has the black cat poster there, even though by technicality she is in this. I should be mad that Fisk is making universe. games about me, but this looks kind of awesome. And or even Spider-Man comics, it's almost like the Hellboy universe, like the movie, in which Hellboy was reading comics about himself. Very weird. But overall, this this seems cool. I suppose. I mean. Like I said, controls are still a little bit, eh, maybe I just don't get it, I don't know, either or. I think this is where we're going to end it off though. To him, one meat lover. Okay, in what world does the meat lover... Oh, well, there's other stuff. Okay. Huh. Anyways. That's still fun. That's really cool. Uh, so far, first... First impressions of Spider-Man 2, it looks really good. Even on the lowest settings, I can see just the tiny little dots in Spider-Man's outfit. When I zoom in on him. Um, overall, it's, it's really good. I do question some of its design in so far the story already. But maybe that's just because I have... Oh god. I got a major case of vertigo right there. Anyways, maybe that's just because I haven't seen The Amazing Spider-Man 1. Maybe that was covered in it, but I don't see why we're covering his origin story in the second game. But I'm sure that's that can be 
worked around. I'm not here to judge the story yet. But it does look beautiful. And it it's very nice. It's an open world game. I love open world games. So that's very cool. Spider-Man web swinging around like what we had in Spider-Man 2. By far one of the better Spider-Man games. <laughs> controls I'm still kind of iffy on Stand the whole the My web anyway. right hand and left hand web swinging just cause that seems kind of weird to me I, I guess I would just rather have like where I can just hit a button and web swing to any side instead of that the web rush however is a very nice touch where I can just stop time and zoom to wherever I'd like which kind of makes the web swinging not necessary. I could practically just swing my way through wherever I want doing this. Which, by the way, in itself is pretty damn awesome. I mean, look at this. I'm just going everywhere. Anyways. Uh, the combat mechanic seems fairly simple for now. Press a button, does stuff. It seems very reminiscent of the bat of the uh, Batman Arkham uh, combat system, with simple strikes a, and a counter button, and pulling off a signature move, which obviously just gets rid of a character once they're stunned. Even in New York, sometimes there's nothing to swing from. Which is pretty okay. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Voice acting. As I haven't watched The Amazing Spider-Man, I can't tell if this voice actor is doing a good job at imitating uh, what's-his-face's name as Spider-Man and Peter Parker. But overall, it doesn't sound that bad to me. I know it is completely different from Tobey Maguire's type of uh, Spider-Man, so I guess it's okay. I'll let it slide. And I'll give it the benefit of the doubt that he's doing a good job. I love the fact that Stan Lee has good guys kind of a big role. Bigger than what is usually done. I mean, he runs the entire bonus section, as I can pretty much call it. Overall, this game seems really fun, and I'm going to enjoy spending some time with it. My recommendation, I would say either buy it or rent this game if you don't have the money to buy it. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, also from what I've heard, covers a lot more villains than what are covered in the uh, in the movie. And one of my main reasons for even getting this game was the fact that I heard Carnage is in here. And I'm going to enjoy that all too well. So until next time, guys, I'll bring... <laughs> until next time, when I bring you a new game or game I just want to share with you guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.